Good morning, friends. Welcome to Homemade and Homegrown. My name is Tammy from New Brunswick, Canada, having a coffee. And I thought it would be fun to hang out and do a craft together. So I'm gonna do one of those uh, lean signs that you put at your door that says welcome on it. And uh, I got the, the different uh, stencils for it. Um, so this is, we're gonna do one of these types of signs today. So we'll see you inside. Hello again. Okay, so I just, like I said, I thought it would be fun to just do a little craft together. Um, I keep seeing these all over at the markets and they look sweet, um, but I think they're a little pricey. So I asked my husband to find me um, a palette, a wood palette that has, you know, the, the, a fair size piece, pieces of wood. So he got me, he got me, he found me one. So, and it's uh, it's hardwood, so this is perfect. It'll last longer. So I went to the to our local dollar store and I got a bunch of different colored paints that um, I think would be really nice, as well as some flowers, whoops, some flowers and my my kitchen actually there's some more flowers my kitchen is yellow and and I got a sunflower that one's pretty isn't it so I just thought that they would look all good together but also because there's gonna be a couple signs I'm gonna make but we're just gonna do the welcome sign together uh, because the other ones, I just, they're sweet and, and they're, they're smaller, they're smaller pieces uh, of wood that, you know, like you would say, um, like this one says, hello spring with a cute truck on there. Um, there's other ones here that, that say uh, thankful and hello summer, Merry Christmas. So I'll be able to make one of those, home sweet home. And I thought this was kind of cute too because it came with none other than chickens, <laughs> but some nice uh, decals of the of the chicken and the star and a heart, um, butterfly, you know, anything that'll go with these different uh, stencils. And then you've got the the dog. Some some people will use the. Uh, well, actually, they have the, the stencil. I forgot that this one came with all three of these stencils. So you could use the one with the dog print or the heart. As the so hopefully the wind isn't going to be too bad. Bring it down a bit because I think the wind is getting a little uh, too much. Um, so take a drink of coffee. Hmm? And I got some paint brushes stuff like that so what I'm gonna do first off is I'm gonna paint the piece of wood yeah and get a splinter first <laughs> okay I'm gonna paint this side uh, even though like it's got the dark marks this side I'm not sure if I should because it's got that split there um, it's not that it's cracked all the way it's just I don't know even though while well, this side looks better I think I'm gonna paint this side. I got my hot glue gun out to put the flowers, to glue the flowers on. So let's get into it. So what color, we're gonna use the typical, well, I don't know, should we use the typical brown? Like there's, there's a cinnamon brown and then there's a burnt, burnt umber. So one's a little bit darker than the other. I don't know. Should we should we do that? Put the background uh, brown. 
and then the, the letters maybe white or something see that's typical I, I keep I'm not sure if I like that idea uh, well there's more signs that I'm going to be making so let's do it this way I will do the bird yeah one sec the wind blew a few of my uh, <laughs> brushes around okay so let's uh, get a paint brush here so how has your week been comment below I love reading all your comments okay so let me bring the camera down so you can see so I got a feeling it's going to uh, absorb a lot of the paint now let's see what it how it does Well, I don't mind that color. Hmm. Yeah, I got a few nails, uh, the holes from the nails. I'm going to probably cover them up with the, with the flowers and different decorations and stuff. I just thought that this would be a nice or a different type of video. You just sit and hang out with each other. <laughs> Tell me if you like these types of videos and I'll do more of them. I'm going to be getting uh, into some um, mosaic type crafts too with the, with the glass, different colored glass. I went to our local um, thrift store and picked up some different colored glass vases or vases, however you want to say it. And I also, there was some, uh, oh, like martini glasses that were different colors too. So I grabbed those. I had to get this guy <laughs> to, to grab them because they were really high up on the, on the shelf. And then he said, oh, my wife would have liked these. And I said, yeah, she probably wouldn't like what, I was, what I'm gonna do with them. And he said, what's that? And I said, I'm gonna break them <laughs> for mosaic crafts. He's like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> so this is uh, acrylic paint that I got at the dollar store. I think it's gonna dry pretty quick. The last uh, craft that I did, I found that it, it dried very fast. Of course, it's going to absorb the paint too, this wood. I've been thinking uh, about where to place my compost bin that I'm going to be making out of wood pallets. And I'm trying to get a really nice sunny hot spot. So... Joe's been picking up a bunch of pallets for me, just collecting them, uh, making a big pile of them. You may have saw on, my la on the last video of us making the, starting up with, with our new coop. And if you haven't seen that video, uh, be sure to go back and check it out. New coop update. Um, it's a fair size. It's 8 by 12 and it should house us. I'm going to have probably about between 30 and 40 egg layers so there should be plenty of room for them not ready for the sides yet here I gotta move the stencil because I don't need this paint getting on it right now I don't really necessarily like painting with these sponge sponge uh, brushes they don't spread evenly all that all that great okay this, I think this gives wood character when you use wood that's got some imp imperfections. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I think when you're doing working with wood, 
it makes it look even better. Some people may have sanded this part down, but I thought, nah. Now, just let me move the stencil. Please don't blow away. Now I'm gonna paint the edge here. Just figured it's easier to squirt some paint there on the side. Plus I forgot my little paint tray that I was gonna use to squirt the paint in, <laughs> to be honest. Now I know some girls who do this craft, they do sand down and make it nice and smooth. But again, I'm trying to just be a little bit different. So we guess what we uh, had roaming in the daytime in our yard while Joe was working on the coop. My video camera, security video camera, caught caught the uh, the culprit in the in the act. But we've had a fox come right, probably not even ten feet away from Joe, and so now he know now they the. He knows that there's chickens here. There was one that was hit by a car just up the road. And I thought, oh good, you know, because they usually travel by themselves. They don't travel in a pack like wolves or coyotes do. So then two days later, I, I see, I see the, uh, the fox in our yard. Joe scared it off, but it didn't seem too startled by him at all. So the last few days, I haven't let the chickens out, out of the coop. I haven't let them out, so, because I'm sure he's staking out the place. We got a neighbor who's got a nice farm just next door to us. And they have the big, um, I think they're... Pyrenees or like the big white dogs. They've got three of them plus they had a litter of pups. Boy they, they sure keep an eye on the farm but the girls aren't too happy and they don't understand why I'm locking them up. I let them out today but they went over to uh, too close to the brook which is on the other side of which is the neighbor's property. Um, so I had to chase them out of there they came back up to the house here. I decided, you know what, I'm gonna do this craft video and I don't wanna mess with them or bother with them at the moment. So I tricked them back into, into their run, their chicken run. Do you think I have to paint the other side too? I probably should, eh? I gotta get right in there, that, that piece that's... So yeah, they're not too happy with me right now. <laughs> Okay, so I decided to paint both sides, and uh, I've got it here airing. It, it's like almost dry. Okay, let me get a clean spot on my hand. See? It sucked right in. So, that won't take long to dry. So, I've got these different color paints and some flowers, like I showed. I've also got, um, let's see here, let me move this over. I got these for cute. I don't know if you can see the flowers. They're decorative stems anyway. Also, I thought these were cute. I could glue them on. And I found some of these red flowers. Also these butterfly stickers. What else? But I also thought these letters would work on other crafts too for signs. And um, what you do is you buy the, like a high gloss finish but it's a sealer finisher or you can do a matte and then you just that would seal those letters on there so while we just wait you know a couple minutes just to uh, let that dry a bit we'll um, get the letters 
set up as well as, uh, well, let's see, we'll, I guess we'll do the typical white for welcome. So we'll get the white paint out and I'm kind of wondering what to, I'm also snacking, I hope you don't mind. <laughs> I didn't have lunch, but I'm also trying to think of, should I just go ahead with using all the yellow? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll just glue the yellow. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> Okay, so before I turn the camera on, I got all the letters that I'm gonna need. And I taped them together so that they're nice and lined up. And what I'll do is I'll just tape, tape the letters to the piece of wood. So hopefully you can see me. So this is perfect size. Could you, at, could you, look at that. Couldn't ask for a better size. And the blade of the tape broke off. <laughs> so I want to make sure it's lined up here. They look straight to you? <laughs> Yeah, it looks straight to me. Okay, so I'm gonna do a different color for the leaves. I'm obviously, I think I'm gonna just do a green, but the letters, ah! well, look at the. <laughs> All right, wind, let's try that again. I gotta get out of the wind. Okay, let me get out of the wind. Okay, hopefully this will work that you can see what I'm doing. Let's do the green first for the leaf. Well, that's a pretty green. Maybe not such a good day to do this. <laughs> <laughs> with the wind. <sighs> I hope this turns out. <laughs> I've always liked the look of these, but like I said, they're asking $25 and $30. 35 I've seen. So no, I'll pass. That's a little too much for me. Too rich for my blood. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna go down and do the other one here. Yes, I know, I see a girl. Oh, I moved the, the Buff Orpingtons into the outdoor brooder. Not really outdoors, but it, it's, they're out of the house, put it that way. And I moved them today on my last video, I showed you how they were doing, plus the new chicks from the incubator. So out of 12 so far, I've got six that have hatched. Um, we're on the 22nd day. So they say usually, you know, you can wait up to the day 25, maybe even 26. That's like at the max um, for the other eggs. Um, they may not have survived or even even began developing. We're gonna wait till Wednesday. Today's Monday. We're gonna wait till Wednesday to, to take a look at the other the other six. Take another sip of coffee. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do white for the letters. smidgen up here. Let's 
see what the other ones are like. Oh, that's okay. Okay, so I had to move it a little bit. So the green is off tiny, tiny bit, but no big deal. Okay. This is the first time I'm doing this, so. <laughs> well, guess what? That little divot <laughs> is right at the tip of the W. So we'll just put some extra paint in there. Okay. So yeah, so we got six chicks, which is exciting. That's pretty good odds, I'd say. Got a few multicolored ones. Got a dark uh, black one. I have to find, I have to contact the guy I got the eggs from to find out what breeds he has. Because uh, at the moment, <laughs> I forget what he said they were when I picked the eggs up. So I got these stencils on Amazon. As I was trying to say, <laughs> I got these at Amazon. Very expensive. I think it was fifteen ninety nine or something like that. But look how many stencils I've got. At first, when I ordered it, I, I thought it was just the just the one welcome, <laughs> and then the, the like the small little ones. I hear the wind coming. I'm gonna hold that down. Um, and then when they when the order came, I was surprised with the with the other welcomes too because I thought you could choose which welcome you wanted, and I wanted the whole thing, so I wasn't picking the one like with the heart or the or the dog paw for the O. But looks like I got. I got all of them. Oops. It'd be nice if I get some extra chicks out of the other eggs. I'm not hearing any peeping though out of them. So, I don't know. We'll find out Wednesday. And at first too, another thing, when I first, like the first checkup that I did, I think it was the seventh day. And um, they say usually wait till the ninth day to, to check if there's life in them. Well, I can't wait, I'm impatient. <laughs> so anyway, I waited till the seventh day to see if they were fertilized. But because of the, the colors of the shells, uh, some were really dark, some were um, like an olive color, and also there were some that were like a like an olive blue. We couldn't see through. So I contacted the guy and I said, I think I might've got a few duds. And he's like, how can you tell in the first week? I said, by candling. And he didn't even know. So because this was his first time selling fertilized eggs. One thing I did learn though, um, I read online that a female hen is fertile, like she's been like if the if the male has has mounted her, she's fertile for two weeks, I think it said thought that was pretty interesting 
So this white is probably going to need two coats by the looks of it. Other than the wind though, it's a beautiful day. We've had some pretty cold and wet, rainy, snow, snowy days. Joe had to put a tarp on the uh, on the new coop well, so that he could keep working inside at least anyway and get some work done to it. Because we're really cutting it close. We gotta move the the current chickens there so that we can open this one up that we've got right now as the nursery. I hope I didn't mess that up. I just lifted up the end. But yeah, definitely gonna need two coats. Anyway, we gotta move those, the other girls, when they get a little bit older, to the current coop. And then, April 30th, I'm picking up new chicks from the local nursery, or, I don't know, animal feed store that we have, the ones I originally ordered. And then the following month, we'll get our order for the meat birds. So things are gonna get busy, busier. I thought I was busy now. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna start on the second coat. Yep, it's dry. It's funny how fast this dries. Also, I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna put certain vegetables in my raised beds. Um, I know I'm going to be doing my peas and my beans, stuff like that in those trellises that I made. Yeah, so that's, that's a definite. And I think there's a part, well actually in my, in my bigger raised beds, last year I did cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli, and they didn't do as well as I thought they would do. And my neighbor, who's gonna come with his tractor to open up the new garden, he's probably not gonna come till the 15th of May to open it up and then he'll come after May 2 for a weekend to till it up for me. Cause that, that's a big part. That's, Joe and I figured it's probably 500 square feet. We need the tractor. But I did get my my seeds for my rutabagas. Uh, I ordered some flowers too and some bulbs to plant from Vessi Seeds, Vessi Seed Company. In, in uh, I think they're I think they're PEI. I was gonna say Nova Scotia, but I, I I think it's PEI. Anyway, I got some of them. I also ordered a couple pear trees from them. They haven't come yet, which I'm surprised, uh, but they're, they're on their way soon. The company, what they do is they, they send out based on your zone, your growing zone. So I'm 5A of when is a good time to, to plant whatever you've ordered from them. So my orders that I, that I, I did two orders from them, but I've been getting you know, three and four and five separate shipments from them. I bought some bleeding hearts, little bushes. I bought the really large sunflowers. So I've actually planted them already, the seeds, in the different corners of the, of the garden down there. But they're covered, they're fine. They'll come up when they're ready. What else did I order? Um, well, they gotta send me my potatoes. So potatoes, what else? Yeah, different types of flowers and I tried to pick perennials mostly. Looking good. There. Okay. Bring you over to check this out. <laughs> okay. The lighting's terrible, I'm sorry. I don't know, I'm thinking another coat. They were that that thing that I thought gave it character. <laughs> it went right in the 
right at the tip of the W there. Oh well, we'll see. I think the harder I try not to get paint on me, <laughs> the more I get paint on me. Go figure, welcome to Tammy's world. <laughs> So I forgot my scissors, so I will be right back. Okay, let's take the flowers apart here. I'll have to cut the leaves off. All right, aren't they pretty? Nice and bright yellow too. Okay, got that. Now, these little guys. Take the price tag off. Going to cut these off. use them you know I used to do crafts with my mother God bless God bless her rest her soul she's with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ oh these are wired that's what I forgot okay I don't need the wire I only need the flower so we we'll pull them off her and I used to do crafts all the time together. <laughs> and I got away from it. And uh, death isn't something that we all <laughs> like. It's definitely part of life. But, uh, and, you know, and even being a Christian as I am, you know, it's, it's only human nature to uh, mourn for our loved ones. And she, she passed a day after Christmas in 2007. So it's been 13 years already. But sometimes there's days that it just feels like yesterday. But I was watching a lady online uh, Helen is her name Helen McVoy I think it is she's a uh, beautiful 83 year old doll <laughs> she's a doll face um, and she does amazing crafts and I don't know if you've seen her but look her up Helen McVoy I believe that's her last name um, but she does a lot of crafts with cement too so i've got a lot of ideas already from her that i'm going to try out myself and and the mosaics i got the idea for the mosaics from her but i thought okay here's this woman 83 years old not stopping for nothing <laughs> i thought god bless her heart she's such a sweetie I'll just cut the flowers because I like I said I just want the flower but she she's just up and at them and still going at it she's from Georgia so she's definitely got that Georgia accent which I love I love the southern accent always have <laughs> sometimes I wish I had it but people say because where I'm from that I got a Eastern accent. Oh, I just dropped a flower. <laughs> but I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> so if you think I got an accent too, comment below and let me know. <laughs> I was watching her do uh, a pair of her grandson's jeans and turning that into a planter with concrete. I thought that was genius. She says, I'm sentimental and I like to keep memories alive <laughs> and 
And what better way to do that by taking her grandson's jeans, young jeans, like he's older now. I think he's, I think she said he's like 26 years old now. And the jeans that she had were um, like size 10. So it was like when he was really small. <laughs> I think I got enough of those. So I'll just put them off to the side. And then there's these decorative stems. I think throw in a couple of those. I got my hot glue gun ready to go. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying yourself. I know I am. <laughs> I don't want to use them all, just a few, but they, they reminded me of little hearts. Actually, with the size of it, I could probably just split it and do two to make four. Let's see. Eh, maybe three. I'm always so undecided. My husband, oh. I pray for him daily for putting up with me. <laughs> there we go, okay. We're going with three. That's one thing about crafts, right? You just kind of create as you go. <laughs> what was that noise? Do we got a warning? Is that a warning call? <laughs> Actually, the footage, the video footage of the fox coming in, you heard her squawk first, and I'm sitting on my deck. It came around my deck and and then into the, to the uh, shot of the camera and walked right up came up through here and then walked right up to the fence here and then passed a little bit, no, the other way, sorry. It went up that way and stood right there, right where my finger is. And Joe was over at the pile of wood, which the sun is screwing it up, but he was over there. So that's probably 10 or 12 feet away from him and he stood there looked looked at him for a while joe didn't know because his back was to him couldn't believe it and then he happened to see a flash and he thought wait a minute tika's not out okay so the wind just took the stencil off my thing so <laughs> i have to bring the sign over and so he took a second glance. You, you see it all in the video. Maybe I should post it up here. Um, yeah, I'll do that. I'll post it right here, the video. And anyway, you'll see uh, how it all went down.
I got to do a little bit of touch-ups. Shouldn't be a big deal here. I picked up some of these little brushes. Tighten up that those letters. Can you see? I think you can see, eh? No pro, that's for sure. Probably a project I should be doing inside. <laughs> Let's definitely straighten out that C. Should be interesting. I don't know, I like it. it looks pretty good. What do you think? All right. Let's get the flowers on. Now, I know we've got this here, but I, I want to cover it with the leaves that I just cut. So I think that's what I'm going to do to make it more real looking, I guess. Because really that leaf is this. So <laughs> I'm going to glue that on there instead. I pulled out my mother's old glue gun. So you're with me, Mom. Let's do this together. Oh, I gotta trim that. She's probably laughing at me right now. <laughs> gun gets hot. <laughs> I don't even want to touch it. You can feel it through the, the fabric. stringies <laughs> oh my gosh it's been so long since I've been doing this I might get emotional guys bear with me <laughs> all right let's put the best looking looking one here up on the top just trim this a little bit. Okay, before we put it on, let's see where it's going to be placed. Okay, let's put a few more leaves first. As I see that they're going to get buried. Here, but I have 
to get another stick glue stick out. there for a second. Perfect timing for coffee. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I've done crafts. Actually, since mom went and maybe a year, be year or two before she passed. So it's been about 15 years. <laughs> now we're going to put some of these small little guys, like just in random spots in between the petals, probably. The guys here, put these small, small flowers. Why don't you blow away? A bit of that off. I'm gonna get another glue stick. So a bunch of glue just poured out when I did that. see him but he's there I'm just like attaching him to the pedal just like that let's get a couple of these guys I was that yellow so we'll go white this time so far so good okay let's Let's see here. I'm going to cut these little guys in half. Yeah. I like it. Now I'm going to put a couple small flowers on the bottom. And actually, I'm going to do another leaf. Let's do another leaf. Yeah, good. Maybe I should do the other side. Sure, why not? <laughs> uh, what else? Mm -hmm. That looks good. I'll have to hold because it'll slide right out. Yeah, that looks good. What do you think? Bring it up to you. <laughs> I think I'm liking it. I have a small flower right there. Now, what I'm contemplating, look at the string from the glue. What I'm contemplating is whether to do something on the bottom and create like a, a little flower garden there. Because I'm not liking the paint for the green. <laughs> for the. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. 
I brought some pieces of wood over that I thought maybe I could make it look like it's it's like a raised flower bed in here and then stick flowers in it but I could just leave it like this too what do you think here let's bring it for a closer look hopefully I'll give you a better lighting too there we go See what I mean by the green? Didn't turn out the, that well right here. And the letters are a little rough, but from behind, you can't tell. <laughs> from stand, like standing back. I think that looks sweet. Well, there you go. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a bottom there. Let's do it. And these pieces of wood, too. Kind of thinking. I'm getting my creative juices flowing here. <laughs> I wonder if I should use these as the box because I can cut them like picket fence style. You know? Now I'd only need a few of them. And then I could put the flowers behind behind them. Let's do that. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, I'll bring it down here. What I think I'm going to do is lay one, two, three, like that. And then make it look like a fence on the bottom. Like that, and then put it on the bottom. I think that'll work. Let's see. So those are the crossbars. All right. So I gotta make sure that I've got it so it'll fit. So how many are we gonna do? I'm going to keep the rough edges rough too. Okay, so I can do three. All right, let's put them. Do I need another glue stick? Of course I do. <laughs> One thing I am not is organized. Grab another stick. Okay. Bring it back up here. Excuse the belly. Okay, those are the cross. All right. One thing about this, it constantly just oozes. It's all done. Should I put this longer one? Oh. Yeah, I put it up too high. these uh, <laughs> strings of glue later. I'm just thinking of my mom when <laughs> she, the way she used to get off me. <laughs> so now we gotta figure out the leaves again. So we're gonna put the leaves, you know, I was kind of wondering. 
as if I did that. That means I'd have to cut it properly. <laughs> and I don't have the right stuff for that. Okay, now what I was thinking of doing is putting the flowers in like that. So these green leaves, these leaves in first. Told me to get another stick. Okay, now I can do some flowers. So it's coming. sirens in the background gotta be with them whoever needs that ambulance every time I hear an ambulance I always pray for whoever's maybe inside the ambulance or they're going to pick them up I want to put some of those decorative stems up because I thought they were cute cuter than I thought <laughs> looks better on the outside okay sorry if I'm all quiet <laughs> I don't know I feel like more of those decorative stems Okay, there we go. I added a little butterfly to the fence. Didn't I like you? So now what I'm gonna do is put that sealant coat over top of the letters anyway, and then I'll be finished. Okay, so I put this clear, um, clear gloss on top of it. The brush was falling apart on me though, the sponge, but uh, we'll take a look. So it's it's drying clear, but the white streaks that you see, that's the, that's the finishing product. I like it. And so yeah, I put the few of the small flowers on the bottom and a butterfly you know if I was to do this at the market you know just for fun I probably would only sell it for 15 bucks what do you think comment below let me know <laughs> well I hope you enjoyed yourself today as much as I did um, it was a nice beautiful day although the wind wasn't the greatest but we uh, made do with what we what we had. So I appreciate you tuning in and uh, spending some time with me today, hanging out. Um, we'll do this again, I think. Uh, I'm really interested in checking out the mosaic uh, crafts. So I do have a table. She did a mosaic table and uh, it looked really beautiful. So I want to uh, try and copy that. So when I do do that, I'll bring you with me so if you like to do more of these types of videos too let me know comment below and uh we'll make sure that i'll get my my creative juices going <laughs> and we'll see what we can come up with but uh i don't know i'm pretty happy with that what do you think 
All right, well, until next time, my friends, we will see you on the next video. I want you to have a wonderful week, a blessed week. May God be with you all. God bless. Love yous. Take care. Bye for now. That's nice. <laughs> Look at that. What is it? That's pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty. Not pretty. That's pretty. <laughs> Got my crafty juices going. <laughs>